with Thelonious again. Hmm. I'm thinking about breakfast. Now, I know directly from the bat, I know many, many people can't eat breakfast. They can't. It's like, it's like you're pressing a, a, a big uh, clock down their throat and it's going to explode. No, they cannot swallow anything. Perhaps a glass of water, uh, perhaps a, a, a cup of coffee or anything, but no. They can't eat anything in the morning. Perhaps around nine-ish, ten-ish in the morning, but not at six o'clock and most likely not at five o'clock. So, you guys, you are excused. Whenever you eat your breakfast, it's good. <laughs> it's there's nothing to do with the time. Me, myself, want to have a stomach that is working from the word get-go. I need that because somehow that gives me and the rest of my body energy enough to start doing things before noon. Afternoon is not my precious time to work or do stuff. So normally I do all the important stuff or in the morning up to, well, 11, 12, noon, midday. And in order to do that, I need to have my breakfast. I'm not a big breakfast eater. That is, I'm not eating that much. A um, couple of sandwiches, perhaps, a cup of coffee or two. And that is, that's it. I can be at least uh, five, six hours uh, part into the day before I need to have any more energy. But I must have it within my first half hour after I have been risen. It is important. So I usually eat my breakfast way before going to the shower or anything. I need to have all that stuff sorted before that. Now, a breakfast can be whatever. Uh, porridge is one of my favorite ones when I... Um, <laughs> I'm not too lazy to make them. Um, and um, cereals, of course, is also good. I have uh, usually cornflakes or something like that ready. But one thing I have noticed lately is I have not decided my breakfast the day before and I don't decide my breakfast until I am ready to get it. And that's rather strange because... My supper or dinner or lunch even, I can plan for weeks. But my breakfast, no. Usually it's the same thing every morning. So that might be one of the things. But no, no planning of the breakfast. If I stand there and feel like having another type of breakfast, I'll just do that. And perhaps I'm just starting to fry eggs or, or sausages or stuff. Suddenly, because I want that. I do not usually take pancakes for breakfast, mainly because that is starting up the stove and I don't like to do that. Mainly because I am alone. If I had had any more people, of course, I would have probably done a bigger one. Um, but no. The good part on not deciding on what to have for breakfast is that you can spontaneously change your plans and your stomach is with you from the word start. He likes it. And that's good. Oof. What more about breakfasts? Well, <laughs> there is one thing, and perhaps one of you out there know this, Denmark. Denmark is very close to Sweden, and we, uh, as people, are very alike. We are doing things mostly the same way. We have the same history and all that. We have been in war with each other for most part of, well, since the Vikings. Um, but there is one thing they do so much differently, and that's what they call breakfast. First of all, their breakfast starts at noon. Yes, it's their lunch. And their breakfast is, part of it is my breakfast. It can be cereals, it can be peer porridge, it can be sandwiches, 
uh, a lot of different types of of oh, what do you call the things you put on cheese and and pate or whatever so well, I don't know what you put on. We call it put on um, sandwich stuffs. Uh, they have plenty of it. They are filling a whole table full of food, and they are frying sausages, and they are having boiled eggs, and there's a ham standing in the corner, and it's like it's like a Christmas table in Sweden. Every breakfast, first time I ever had that, I was thinking, are they crazy? No, but this is the first thing they eat on all day. And it might be the last thing they eat all day. And when I say eat, I mean properly sit down and eat. And they can sit and eat this breakfast for almost an hour. And totally, I must say, I enjoy having a Danish breakfast with Danish people. Because we sit there and we eat whatever we want, not if we don't want all, we don't have to. And we talk and we laugh. And it's so relaxed feeling that your whole body is actually having a totally service. <laughs> I mean, it's like having a massage and, and meditation and food and, and social interaction and everything in one go. And afterwards... You are so energetic that you could probably go out and start anything, any project at all. I'm going to put my car into pieces. Well, do that. You have until next breakfast for it to do it. So Danish breakfast, if you ever, ever get the chance to eat a Danish breakfast, do. You will be surprised how much fun it is. It has nothing to do with the food. It has all to do with the breakfast, the, the thing, the social gathering. I like that. Okay, what's your breakfast? Do you have any? Hmm. Yeah. Thanks for listening.